started free, but let's recap the freestyle races so far this weekend, beginning with the 53, where Caleb Dressel of the University of Florida took the title. Unbelievable swim. He's just a freshman, 1867, one one hundredth off the American record held by Nathan Adrian. This guy's going to have a fabulous career in the future. And in the 500, it was the University of Texas's Clark Smith. And I swam with his mother in the 1984 <laughs> Olympic Games. James also swam with his father, John Smith. A wonderful win by this sophomore. He was 418 a year ago, went 409 here. And in the 1650, Matthias Koski of Finland representing the University of Georgia and picking up the individual title for the Bulldogs. Well, P.J. Ransford, the freshman from Michigan, way up on top in lane eight, had the early lead, but Matthias Koski chased him down and won it for Georgia. And the junior did the job there. Koski kept a streak alive for the University of Georgia that had seen the Bulldogs win at least one individual title in either the men's or women's swimming and diving championships for the past 20 years. That was in jeopardy until Koski secured the victory. Uh, one of the more marquee events, the 100 free coming your way. The American record established back in 2009. And here is your front runner tonight. Simona Spillis representing the Wolfpack of NC State. Yeah, from Lithuania, he comes in as the top seed, but this is a tight field. 19-100, Sam. 19-100 separates one through eight. There's Christian Golomeyev. He's just a sophomore. He won the 50 last year, SEC champ, and he's right behind Billis. Only five 100s of a second. In fact, it's... 43 100 separated the top 16. We don't even see the consolation finals. And there's your 200 winner, Christian Quintero, who might not have the speed to match up with these guys, but he is tough and he's a senior. Here's a look at the field. Again, Billis in lane four, Golyumev in lane five, Quintero in lane three. For some reason, I like Golomayev here. He, I, I didn't think he looked his best in the prelims. Looked like he was on cruise control, just as doing enough to get himself into that final. He swam in the last heat so he could see what everybody else was doing, and that's a big advantage to be able to kind of get in there and know what you have to do just to get into the final. Boy, he takes advantage of that early speed in a hurry, doesn't he? And it is Golomayev up early in lane five. Yeah, and, and, and now he's got a little smooth water to deal with. Here's this critical turn here, Sam, because what the swimmers have to do is they have to get a huge chop all the way in there. So they've got to get up underneath that big wave. And there it comes. He's starting to fade back to the field, but he built a big lead. He's going to win it. And Golomayev wins the 100 free, duplicating what his coach John T. Skinner did back in 1975 at this meet. Goyamev, your champion in the 100 free. 40 years ago, John T. Skinner won this event. Denny, personally, his head coach, but he swims with John T. almost every day. And Goyamev wanted this one so badly because he just got beat in the 50 freestyle earlier. Here he is on the right. Good start for him and out fast. That was what was the key for him. He was really out quick. 19 plus on the way out and and that speed you've got to lay it on the line on the hunter for you cannot be afraid to take it out fast here here's this last turn huge importance only because you want to try to get up underneath that wave he really didn't do a good job of it he bounced right into the wave which cost him a little bit the last 25 but nonetheless built big enough lead that he's the champion <laughs> Christian Golomayev, originally from Greece, representing the University of Alabama, winning the 100 freestyle, edging out North Carolina State's Simonis Billis Quintero is third. Let's hear from Golomayev right now with Cynthia Potter. Christian, looks like you're a little spent after that one. Did you let it all go? Yeah, of course. It was a really good, a really good race. Well, maybe I was not ready in the 50, but I was definitely in the 100. So I'm really happy. My time was really good. I'm so happy that this year, actually, I can swim 100, too. Well, it's fantastic. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but Coach Skinner won this race 40 years ago. Did you know that? Uh, I, yeah, I knew that. that that's awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much.